everyone, I'm Adrian here on Love to Life, encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. Today, um, this video is just a kind of a catch-up video, my 1 through 10 uh, videos that I couldn't really record. So, and I know I was missing the number 10, week 10. So this video is week 10, pregnancy, being pregnant, week 10 of being pregnant. <laughs> But yeah, um, on week 10, I remember being a little nauseous, but not as much. It was starting to fade away by then. And I remember being bloated a lot and constipated. Oh my goodness. I was so constipated and bloated. It was crazy. Y'all, it was crazy. I end up calling the doctor and seeing what I can take for um, to get my bowels and stuff to move, I end up having to take magnesium sulfite. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, I took that. It's like it comes in a little bottle and it's like liquid. It kind of tastes like a soda almost. And it's pretty good. It come in different flavors or whatever, but I had the cherry kind. So yeah. And it was good. <laughs> but I didn't drink the whole thing. I just drunk like the top part of it, like um probably the little baby amount that they have on there, the little kids amount. Um if you look at the back of the bottle, it's like a little kids amount. So I probably drunk like that much of it or whatever, but it wasn't it wasn't a lot at all. Like a small cup. Like, hmm. Let me see. Uh, I don't know why I had this out. It was like this much of it that I had drunk just to loosen my bowels. But the doctor said that I can drink it because I remember drinking it before I was pregnant. And I drank the whole bottle and I was liquidy for like weeks, <laughs> like literally weeks. So that stuff works. Like it works phenomenal. You don't cramp or anything, or it don't taste nasty, and so I love taking that. So that when I need a bowel movement, I take that stuff, magnesium sulfite. But um, yeah, that and once I had a bowel movement, my bloatingness went down, and everything went kind of back normal. And I was comfortable, so but everything kind of like you know got in order by then, <laughs> so I was feeling better. But I was still a little nauseous, so I still had to eat stuff that I was craving. And I was craving, like, fried bologna. Um, I was craving ribs, uh, barbecue ribs, not any kind of ribs. It had to be on the grill. <laughs> like, the ribs really had to be on the grill. And I was craving cucumbers and what else I was craving. It was some more stuff. It was mostly meat, oh, like beef, ground beef and stuff like that, and hamburgers and stuff. That's what I was really craving at the time. Um, that's yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I was craving. And then I was breaking out in the face a lot during ten weeks, and of course my asthma was crazy because I I wasn't unable to take a lot of the asthma medicines that I needed to take to control my asthma. So yeah, I had to wait till second trimester to take some asthma medicines. So yeah, but um, after 10 weeks, everything was pretty much fine. It started, you know, leveling out and start feeling better a little bit. I get sick here and there and that's pretty much it. So yeah, 10 weeks wasn't really that bad as five, six, seven, eight weeks, <laughs> and nine weeks. So yeah, but that's all I have for, t for you all today. And I do have a subscriber shout out. And that subscriber shout out is... I wanna say thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. I hope you learned as much as I have learned. Please comment down below. If, you know about anything I can't get my words out today you guys but yes thank you so much for subscribing 
Always remember to love your life, live your life because it's your life. I'm Adrian. I love you all. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified of my videos. And like this video if you like this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.